Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And uh, this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Now it came out reverse. We're not going to take it because this card has ended. Well, I could just, I could flip it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to reshuffle. But this is about self-love and acting in love. Okay, being in love. It's about love. Somebody is not... Uh, doing the right thing in regards to love because this is reversed. So somebody needs to really open their heart. They need to act in a loving manner. They need to be more uh, more loving. You know, and they need to give a little bit more love. This is like a, a closed off heart chakra. Okay, somebody needs to open up their heart. So what do we have for Capricorn? The sun. The sun card is a breakthrough, a new beginning, a new day, happiness, joy, bliss, a time of growth, right? So the sun card is a beautiful new day, right? It's 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 being in a happy place. Um, this is a one, so this is being happy with yourself. I do feel like this has something to do with self-love. This is a new beginning, though. The sun card is a beautiful new beginning. This is where you can just be yourself. It's being accepted in great health, healing energy. Okay, so you may you may get some sort of happiness this week. Something, I mean, that's happiness. So what do we have for Capricorn? Enlightenment as well. So somebody may be getting some sort of enlightenment. Enlightenment. Oh, there we go. The moon. It did come out reversed, unfortunately. Uh, so the moon, I'm so sick of it. The moon is secrets being revealed. Truths being revealed. You can't hide. Okay. And this is coming out of darkness. This is light being shed on a situation. This one is too. So if there's anybody in your circle or anybody around you that hasn't been telling the truth, this is the week. Ooh. Ooh, I just looked on the bottom. Look at that. We have the devil. Okay, so the devil would be represent your energy. Not saying that you guys are all the devil. But this looks to me like we got somebody that is going in the wrong direction. Okay? They're going down the wrong... They're going down... They're going the wrong direction. This is a one-way street and they don't care. So somebody is... Not making a wise choice. They're in their ego. They're not in a good place. They are overdoing it. They don't care who they hurt. All they care about is having fun. So, you know, I do believe that somebody is engaging in some toxic, unhealthy behavior. And this is a week where lights get light gets shed on it. Okay? If there's unhealthy behavior, everything comes to light. This is from darkness to light. So somebody, and it really is, because the devil and the moon are both ruled by the shadow. And what is the shadow? Darkness. So this is from darkness to light. So something that, somebody has been in a deep, dark place, maybe a depression. You know, they've been self-medicating or whatever the case is. And sometimes self-medication is food. Sometimes it's another person. It's codependency. It's drugs. It's alcohol. It's material spending shopping you know there's an addiction here there is an addiction here there's and there's a strong desire for instant gratification because the devil is instant wanting instant gratification 
So anyway, I feel like this week there's going to be light shed on a dark situation. Okay, there's truths being revealed. This is a reality check. Okay, um, with the moon card, there could be a mental imbalance. Okay, there's healing that is needed. There is also some sort of self-deception here. So there's somebody has been deceiving themselves, and they've probably been. There's, I feel like there's definitely some addictions. Okay. Um, but this is a very healing energy, so it is time to heal, okay, because the sun card is a card of healing. Something is about to be revealed. There's going to be some sort of clarity that is coming. There's been darkness. Something has been hidden, but not anymore. Not anymore. This does lead to a new beginning because that sun card is a happy new beginning. It's a time of growth. It's actually a beautiful new beginning. Ooh, the star card. Now, the star is a card of a blessing. It's wish fulfillment. Um, somebody, and the sun card is a card of a blessing. So you have a blessing that is coming. Star comes after the tower. So there's probably an event that um, happens or has happened that brings help. This is help arriving. Um, I do believe that there is some sort of help arriving. There's some sort of protection here and there's a wish that is being granted. It may not be what you think it is though. It may not be what you think it is. There is some sort of protection. There is some sort of protection here. This is a card of hope. It's a card of inspiration and renewal. And this is a card of renewal as well. So we have a renewal here. This is like, it's actually very, very beautiful. This is a beautiful renewal. This is creating something new. This is definitely a very fertile time. Something is, is growing. There's some sort of growth that is happening right now. You may be shining, okay? We have a star here. We have the sun here. This is shining, glowing. You know, if you have been in a dark place, you probably aren't going to be in that dark place for much longer. This is very, this is glowing. It really is. There's some sort of light or enlightenment. There's some sort of light or enlightenment that is coming. And this is a blessing. This is a blessing after the tower falls, right? The star card is a new purpose, okay? It's uh, self-confidence, renewal, hope, healing, unexpected help arriving. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So I do believe there's a tower moment, but now you are, or there has been, but you are going, you're receiving a blessing after this tower has fallen. Two of Cups. Maybe this, this tower moment had to do with a separation. I mean, because the Two of Cups reversed, and it, because this, this is my past, and this is, you know, this separation or detachment may actually be a blessing in disguise. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you were unclear. Maybe the truth was hidden or it wasn't realized. This is definitely a realization realizing that this is a blessing in disguise you're going to be this these are both a gift you're going to be receiving a gift of some sort after some sort of uh, breakup separation detachment from a partnership of some sort and this could be a friend could be a lover could be anybody in your life this is that you are separating from this has all happened for a reason whoever you are dealing with probably wasn't telling you the truth with the moon card they were hiding something you know they were very very secretive but this is some sort of realization realizing the truth seeing the truth very very clearly so somebody is seeing the truth very 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 clearly if if there if there's been some addictions or there's something has been hidden it's definitely going to be shown this is light it really is light the stars light up the sky the sun lights up the sky so there is light some there's gonna something is gonna be lit up okay it's gonna be shown everybody's gonna see it whatever it is it does have to do with a partnership of some sort Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, oh boy, we have some heartache here, we have pain, we have suffering, because the Three of Swords is grieving, it's grieving over a loss, somebody is grieving over a loss, and it's interesting that the heart chakra was, was reversed, 
You know, so you may be in your feelings this week. There could definitely be a tower moment that uh, really makes you cry. Okay, I'm just, I gotta be honest with you, without heart shock or reverse, you may not be able to control your emotions. It could really affect your heart. Okay, there's, there's some sort of heartache here. There is heartache here over a separation. But this separation leads to healing. It does. It leads to a new life. It leads to a new beginning. It leads to a lot of happiness. Whoever, somebody has been in a deep, dark situation where there's been some sort of imbalance and now things are about to get better. Things are definitely, definitely, definitely going to get better. Um, there is some sort of support here around you. There is somebody that is very loving and tender and kind that um, may be supporting you, maybe, um, you know, trying to take care of you. This person may be the one that's helping you. It could be a Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I, do, I, I do feel like... Uh, you're going to be feeling some sort of pain, though. I feel like you're going to be feeling some sort of pain, but you're going to be receiving some support from somebody. Some Something's about to be revealed, and I'm not, I don't know if you're dealing... You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or the Pisces or the Cancer or the Scorpio. Whatever is happening, it's, it feels like it's painful because the Three of Swords is pain, and, and anybody can pretend that it's not, but it is. The Three of Swords is a painful separation and this is a separation as well but there is healing here we have a healing energy this is actually a blessing because now now it's time for a bright new life okay it's time to shine okay um we have some sort of protection here so there is protection rejection is god's protection if there has been a rejection you know there is protection because there's protection there could be protection from somebody from the other side there's also a guiding light so somebody is being guided they're being guided out of a dark situation okay into a more healthier situation remember we saw that devil somebody was in has been in a very toxic unhealthy situation and they are being guided out of it into something more healthy okay it will require a separation though with this card and this card this this is a separation for some of you you're dealing with an individual that uh, may have broken your heart there could be a third party here okay um, somebody may have chosen somebody over you and that may have broken your heart. I do see heartbreak here. So, but I see healing from the heartbreak. I do see a healing energy. So, I feel like this week you may be, you may be grieving. You could be grieving over a loss. But you're he also healing at the same time. You may be just accepting reality. Because this the moon card reverse is a reality check. Truths are revealed. We have a very sneaky individual here that has been lying about something. They have been, and the truth is coming out. It's going to be seen very, very clearly. Now, I'm not sure how that resonates with you. could be this person that you're dealing with. The lovers, unexpected choice in love. So this is consequences. It's a contract. Somebody um, is going to be paying the price for their actions. The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's also making making a decision. Somebody is going to be making a choice, or a choice has been made. This is this is definitely a new partnership here, a new union that comes unexpectedly. This is a healing love, falling in love alignment so I feel like there's some sort of realignment here somebody has been hoping and praying for something maybe then they've been hoping and praying for a new beginning or hoping and praying for a healing love or hoping and praying to be loved and taken care of and their prayers have manifested you know, this is definitely a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is being granted. They're about to receive something that they asked for that is going to make them extremely happy. Absolutely. 
after there's been some sort of grievance or grieving or separation. But the star card is a card of reason, and it's interesting because I just did a daily about reason. Everything happens for a reason. There is an unexpected opportunity here for a new partnership that uh, is being brought to you at this time after a separation, after there's some sort of detachment. Because the Two of Cups reverse is a detachment. There's a reason why this is happening because you were being lied to. You were being deceived by somebody. Now you're going to be connecting you're going to be connecting with somebody. This is a perfect match. I mean, the lover's card is a perfect match. But you're going to have to open your heart. Interesting. Interesting about the, the heart chakra in reverse, about not opening your heart. Sun is a card of heart as well. Somebody may need to open their heart and have faith. The star card is a card of faith. Somebody needs to have faith. They're going to be presented with a new opportunity. And they're going to need to detach from that previous contract because this is a new contract. Signing a new contract that is better for you. So Capricorn, I feel like you are going to be signing a new contract. Or you have This is a breakthrough for you. I feel like you've been deceived by somebody in your past because the moon card is a card of the past. And so and the star card can be too. Somebody was deceived in the past and they were heartbroken, but now they definitely have an opportunity for love with somebody that is very loving. Very loving. This is a healing love. So anyway, Capricorn, I, f I feel like this is a week where... Uh, you. This is a gift. It's a miracle. This is definitely a miracle. I mean, the star card is a, is a prayers being answered, a wish being granted. This is your fairy godmother bringing you what you asked for. You know, like you know, where, where is it? When you wish upon a star, you know that. I, don't, I can't repeat it. It's been so long. Your wish is being granted. You're about to receive something that you asked for. After there's been a lot of I don't know, maybe there's been fantasy or illusion or uh, lies. You know, it's over. Okay, this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a healing love. It's a very healing energy. So you, you are definitely receiving something. It's a blessing. Consider it a blessing in disguise after something has fallen apart. Because the tower is something falling apart. You probably have experienced some sort of event that changed your life profoundly. Now you are receiving this as a gift. You will realize that that happened for a, re a reason. The moon reverse is realization. You are about to realize why that all happened. Because this is a perfect match. After a separation, it is truly a perfect match. I mean, <clears throat> after a separation... I mean, it is. It's almost like you're going to have somebody, or you do have somebody here that is going to cherish you. You know? It's like this person gets down on their knees and will do anything to make you happy. Anything. So, I, I do believe that uh, you have a connection here, and you're going to need to open your heart. You're going to need to open your heart. So anyway, I feel like this week you may be, um, this is a choice. Lovers is always a choice. You know, you have to choose. Do you want to let the previous partnership that didn't work out, that brought you so much disharmony, get in the way of an opportunity for, for love? You have to open your heart. That's the message for this week. Open your heart. This is a perfect match. You know, when you, when you get the lover's card, you know, it's, this, it's, it's literally a higher power, and it is a higher power, bringing two people together at just the right time for all the right reasons. I feel like there's a strong sexual connection here as well. A soulmate connection. 
that you probably prayed for and asked for. Open your heart. So anyway, Capricorn, leave behind that old contract that didn't work out because this one is going to make you happy. Good luck.